What's up explorers? In this video, we're going to the Roman Agora here in Athens. Check it out. All right, so we are looking at the gate of the Roman Agora here in Athens. I'm gonna go scan my ticket in and then we will go have a field day checking this thing out. As you can see, it's right down here in the shadows of the Acropolis. Here we go. So the last time I was here in Athens, I didn't get to check this place out. It was closed during the times when I was able to get near here. All I was able to do was look at it through the fences, so I'm kind of excited to be here. So the gate we just went through was called the Gate of Athena. This mess over here was the site of the Church of Soria. Fortunately, here at the Roman Agora, they don't have very many markers to explain what you're looking at. And it's really unfortunate because I think if you pay your money to get in here, you should be able to get the information about the place. You shouldn't have to go searching for it on the internet. From my understanding, this Agora was kind of like a central marketplace. I don't know for sure, but I think that's what this was. It's the central marketplace. Maybe a bit of a temple. I don't know. <laughs> Estern Propylone. That was kind of fun. That chick just walked through to do like some sort of an Instagram video and she realized that she was on somebody else's video. That was kind of funny. Ancient people must have had just ginormous legs. <laughs> it 
Maybe they were actually the size of all these statues that we see. So where we are right now is called the Agoronomion. They don't know what its purpose was, but they do know that it was dedicated to Athena and it was built in the middle of the first century AD. This is a masonry altar. So I think they used to sacrifice animals on here and the blood would run off. The Tower of the Winds, it was built by Andronikos Kyros in Macedonia. Yeah, well, he's from Macedonia. And apparently, this was a really important site during the Byzantine era. Inside of the structure, there was a hydraulic mechanism that power to water clock so they can tell time and stuff like that which is pretty impressive <laughs> who knew I didn't know they had clocks back then I knew they had calendars but I didn't know they had clocks but yeah and then when the Byzantines from the Ottoman Empire came in and took the city over they ended up using this building kind of as a church a mosque if you will this is the inside of that building and this is where that mechanism was held This area right here was the public bathroom latrine if you will And here would be one of the earliest, the remains of one of the earliest Catholic churches. And then there's a kitty right there. <laughs> Hi kitty. That early Catholic church, it was knocked down. The Ottomans built a mosque right in its place because <laughs> naturally that's that's how that works <laughs> we're just about done here at the agora we're almost finished with the ancient athens series here we got one more real big thing to do and it just happens to be up there <laughs> yeah we're gonna go up to the acropolis either Tomorrow or the next day, depending on how I feel tomorrow. It's quite a hike up there. Yeah, hit like, subscribe, all that, and check out the next video when we're up at the Acropolis, checking out the Parthenon and all of that good stuff. Go ahead and check this video out here. We're going to go through the most recent series that we have planned right now, Taste and Travel. Down here, there's another video that you might be interested in. Click right here to subscribe.